Next guest says Europe's lenders aren't in such bad shape and that a run on the banks has already started. Matthew Monio is founder and chief investment officer at Linus Capital Management and joins us now. You said that the ultimate moral hazard trade is developing. What do you mean? Well, uh, yeah, we, we think, uh, and we see some uh, uh, evidence of this, that uh, at least in some of the peripheral banks, uh, some of them uh, are making a decision to uh, actually purchase larger amounts of especially home country sovereign debt um, uh, with the obvious um, uh, uh, belief that uh, you know, if we're going to the wall, so to speak, uh, they're in uh, mighty big trouble anyway, so might just as well... Uh, uh, so know, so loads debt. up on more debt? Might as well load up. Uh, I mean, how do you see a run on the banks developing because of that? I mean, is, is there the two correlated there? I don't think the two are correlated, no. I think we've seen a, a, a slow run on the banks going on now for um, at, at least a year. Certainly, um, uh, you know, the Greeks have been fairly uh, uh, straightforward about the amount of uh, core deposits that are flowing out of the country. Clearly, uh, probably you know, motivated by, by big corporate uh, depositors. So if you uh, are a Siemens subsidiary in Athens, uh, you're much less likely today to leave your uh, deposits in uh, National Bank of Greece. You're more likely to repatriate them back to uh, a Deutsche Bank in Germany. Now, what do the European countries, the European banks, I guess, as well, need to do? What is the guarantee option? Uh, well, I, so I, I would say a guarantee option, if I'm understanding the question correctly, uh, applies to the sovereign yeah. uh, uh, debt situation. Um, uh, somehow or another, uh, the sovereign debt situation must be resolved. Uh, the banks will not, no matter practically how much capital they're forced to hold, uh, heal uh, while we have this sovereign debt overhang. Um, this is a, quite clearly a political question more than it is an economic one. We spend a lot of time talking about the economic implications of this. And, uh, um, but at the end of the day, uh, if the Italians and the Spaniards and the Greeks, uh, um, etc., the peripheral nations, want to uh, uh, make the structural changes necessary to grow, uh, in, in fact, to be as productive or reach levels of productivity uh, commensurate with that in the Netherlands and Germany, uh, you know, we will, in fact, have a way out of this, uh, uh, this crisis. The indebtedness on a gross level of Europe is, is fairly manageable. Yes, and it would be the possible. ECB that would be the guarantor here. The, ECP, uh, the ECB could, in theory, be uh, a guarantor. In fact, we could also potentially capitalize an entity that would look like a municipal bond insurance company in the United States would look and would guarantee sovereign debt outstanding, perhaps to a maximum level. That would probably cover most of what was outstanding for everyone but Italy, Greece. Uh, you know, Greece eventually going to resolve itself anyway. So, um, uh, but you know, certainly Italy would have a large amount outstanding above and beyond what would be considered. Uh, uh, um, uh, guarantee if you will. We had more bank downgrades overnight. Is there a feeling, and is that reflection that the banks are actually, some of them, in real trouble out there? I, I, I think um, dependent on um, how the next uh, six months plays out, the banks are p potentially in, in quite a significantly difficult situation. Um, uh, uh, you know, I think let, let's run through several of, of the issues. One, uh, clearly in the developed countries, there is little to no sovereign support left. Um, certainly that is the case in Europe. You could certainly argue in the United States uh, we will print U.S. dollar bills uh, until the cows come home, if you will, uh, to, to uh, um, uh, you know, support uh, the FDIC if it came to that. Uh, but clearly that option does not exist in, in, in Europe. Uh, furthermore, you have a, you have a, a broken uh, a stratified, even though you have a single market for banking, you have multiple deposit guarantors around Europe. Uh, that's, a, a, to be frank, a recipe for disaster. The downgrades, I think, initially will appear to have little effect, but there will be uh, issues which will be taking place under the surface. I would say credit support annexes, uh, part of the ISDA documentation, would be the most uh, obvious, not obvious to us, but obvious in terms of the impact. There will be a s steady ratcheting up of collateral requirements um, uh, for, uh, through the CSAs. Do you approach this uh, rather uncertain environment with trepidation, with caution, or absolute, absolute relish? Uh, no, no, a lot, a lot of caution. Uh, you know, maybe it was relish uh, uh, in, in 07, uh, but, you know, many years later, uh, you know, the exhaustion is, uh, is probably getting the better of us. I think, uh, I think quite clearly it's at this point trepidation, yes. Matthew Monio, founder and chief investment officer of Alana's Capital. I'm grateful to you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much indeed.